you know, in the face of all these uh, interesting comments that are being made by people like Clavin Bundy and, and uh, Donald Sterling, uh, another set of interesting comments are being made um, by, in this case, our old friend Jerry Corsi, uh, Jerome R. Corsi, the fellow who uh, wrote the book Swift Boat Veterans for Truth and exposed John Kerry's uh, phony war wounds and uh, then wrote the book about how Obama's birth certificate was phony. Um, he's back. Jerome Corsi, a senior staff reporter for World Net Daily, author of numerous best-selling books, including his latest, What Went Wrong? The Inside of the GOP Debacle in 2012, WND.com, of course, the website. Uh, Jerome Corsi, welcome back to the program. Uh, thanks, Tom. <coughs> Good to be back with you. Thank you. Um, I understand that your latest research shows that not only... Maybe, I don't know if you've moved on from the Obama's birth certificate was phony or not, but um, now you're asserting that his mom actually isn't his mom and his dad wasn't his dad? No, uh, Tom, I'm reporting on Michael Shrimpton. Okay. Who is, he is uh, an attorney in London who is, um, was indicted for uh, they have a law in London where you can't make a uh, report on a terror or other threats, really bomb threats. You can't make an official report to the police if it turns out to be a false threat. And he reported a threat, nuclear threat, to the 2012 Olympics in London and was indicted for doing so because um, obviously it's a, a nuclear attack did not occur. I think it's going to be very difficult to, in, to convict Shrimpton under this law. And one of Shrimpton's many charges is that... Um, uh, that there is a DNA test existing by the CIA of Obama's DNA and his mother, Ann Dunham, which Shrimpton asserts uh, shows that the mother is not the actual natural mother. And the reason I reported on it is because part of the defense in this case is going to be Shrimpton's ability to ask for documents, and these Obama documents are part of the documentary request he's going to make. Now, whether the court allows him to subpoena records out of the CIA, a British court. Um, I don't know, but again, it's interesting that this... Um, I, I was reporting what Michael Shrimpton has done. He's the one who's asserting that Ann Dunham is not the natural-born mother. Well, and, and, and with your Swift Boat veterans, you were, you were reporting what some of those guys were saying, and, and with the earlier birth certificate stuff, you were reporting what some other people were saying. I get that. Well, I mean, also, Tom, uh, remember, when I did the Swift Boat book, um, I had done, John O'Neill was actually commanded Carey's boat. He's my co-author. And I had done the research on the um, Carey's participants. The second half of the book was all my original research, or at least primarily, because, you know, even when in the 70s, when the work I had been doing in universities, I had established that Carey was meeting with Madame Bin, who was chief negotiator of the, the Viet Cong during the Vietnam War, while he was yet in the Naval Reserve. So, a lot of unfit for command was my original research, and a lot of uh, the birth certificate book was my original research. I was the one who really documented that Ann Dunham uh, left Hawaii within weeks after the baby Barack Obama was born and did not stay in Hawaii until um, Barack Obama Sr. from Kenya left to go to Harvard, which was two years after the baby was born. So it was a lot of that. Both of these books have included a lot of original research by me. Okay, so um, here, my question: Why, why is it, in in your opinion, that nobody has, at least to the best of my knowledge, nobody has ever questioned the pedigree or legitimacy of any of our white presidents? We get a black guy in the White that's, House. That's actually not true, Tom. Okay. Correct me. I mean, well, Chester Arthur was one who still has been questioned and who ended up uh, destroying a lot of the birth records because I'd have to go back and research it precisely, but I think there was, again, a problem with his father not being a U.S. citizen when he was born, and that was an issue at that time. Well, there have been five or six presidents who Correct. had one parent who was not a U.S. citizen. Oh, and, there, and there's been five or six instances, you know, Barack Obama is actually the first african-american that was questioned on this but there's many candidates including john mccain who was questioned 
by the Democrats in uh, 2008. Oh, it's nothing like this, though, Jerry. Don't don't well, you the think that there is, time is time that the I reason said, why? No, no I, that, this is a serious question. Don't you well, think the reason why your message was seriously questioned? I can show you the New York Times articles, the Washington Post articles. It went on. Congress actually passed a resolution on John McCain, uh, took the issue up in Congress, and and voted that you know, passed a resolution, joint resolution that um, uh, that John McCain was a natural born citizen. So there have been you know, the idea that, there's, that Barack Obama is the only one. But see, that wouldn't even have been an issue if you hadn't been talking true. about Obama. No, Don't you Tom, think, Tom? That's not true either. The Democrats were questioning McCain independently and before. Because remember, the original questioning of, uh, of Barack Obama's credentials, in terms of birth credentials, started with Hillary Clinton. She began the criticism. It wasn't uh, me or anyone else. It came up um, during the debates, and the information was being circulated by the uh, Clinton campaign uh, in 2008. And at the same time, uh, the, um, uh, the Democrats were raising questions because John McCain was born in the uh, Panama Canal Zone. And again, that was an issue as to whether he was a natural born citizen. And it went through a lot of discussion and invitation. You know, I can show you law articles that were written on the subject. Oh, Don't yeah. you think, Jerry, that one of the reasons why this message that Barack Obama is illegitimate gets such resonance and gets such airplay and is and is frankly held by so many people particularly white people and particularly in the south is because obama is black and that this is just I, at, I at a certain agree. level dog whistle politics you. no i don't i mean you might try to make it that way but it's not the case uh the reason obama's issue continues to resonate is because uh, so many of the original documents have never been seen in other words even in April 2011, when the White House released the long-form birth certificate, what was released was a computer printout, which did not exist in 1961. The original documents... That well, I don't have my original birth certificate. What does that have to do with anything? Well, it, uh, it has a lot to do with it, Tom, because the questions were in, in Hawaii that there were many ways to obtain birth certificates that uh, were not necessarily... I mean, the Japanese have been doing it uh, for decades, especially around World War II. And I researched that very thoroughly, that many of the Japanese born in Japan, but yet, you know, came to Hawaii, were being forced at the beginning of World so War II. So you don't think, I mean, you're, you're, in, you're you know, immersed in this world. You live in this world. You don't think that there is a racist element to this? Um, I don't, I really all. don't. I think if Obama released all the original documents and the questions were answered, I don't think the you know questioning would continue. I put this much more in the category. Jerry, I think you're terribly naive. Well, Tom, you can call me whatever you want, but I don't. I don't believe it is as a racial element. I think that the element of this is that there are unanswered questions. I mean, you've written extensively. I've written a book now on JFK's assassination. I don't think it was because JFK was um, had any particular. We're not questioning the legitimacy of JFK as a as a citizen. I, I'm pointing out, Tom that, you know, the Warren Commission was tr tremendously flawed, and you had, again, a cover-up which intensified the... Sure, but nobody was questioning his legitimacy as a nobody citizen. Nobody was, no. But I'm saying these issues arise, I think, including around Barack Obama. So do you think, do you think, Jerry, just real provide. quickly, we're, we're out of time here, but cover -up. do you think that, Sh that Shrimpton's right, that Obama's mom actually isn't his mom? I don't know. I want to, I think Shrimpton may be a, an interesting case. Very, Okay, Jerry, we got to hang, hang on just a second. I got to wrap it up. I want to bounce you out here. Hang on. This is the Tom Hartman program. It's Jerome Corsi, senior staff reporter with World Net Daily. His most recent book, What Went Wrong, the website WND.com. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you, Tom.